and then we'll open it for the kids and they can leave after that we'll go back to you. Gotcha. Well, um, obviously that's not exactly the way we drew it up there in the seventh inning, but uh, we had a huge performance to start from Brent Hedrick. And then we got a little squirrely in the seventh. Then Dalton Harvey came in and bailed us out. Obviously our offense swung about really, really well. Um, we came out swinging. A lot of balls fell for us and uh, really, really got a lot of momentum that way. Okay, questions for our players? Go ahead, Mike. Yeah. Brent, can you just talk about what it felt like out there, the way things were going for you? Yeah, you know, it felt good. Um, I was working with all three pitches. You know, they're all in the zone. And, you know, you, coming in, we knew Indiana was a good team. You know, they had a lot of power. So, you know, my job was just keep them off balance as best I could. And, I mean, every Friday, it's just the same thing, you know, same mentality. Go out there and, you know, just give your best effort. Try to set the tone for the rest of the weekend. And, you know, give your guys on defense uh, a lot of confidence when they come to the plate. You know, I mean, just, just keep the confidence on our side and momentum with us. And, and I think we did a great job of that. The hitters came through for us, so it was big. Brent, what was the, the mental process for you after giving up that early home run and and obviously having to move on and moving on really well as you did? Brent, yeah, could you move the microphone just a little bit closer to you? Yeah, you know, he made a good swing in the pitch. You know, I, I left it up a little bit. So, you know, my mentality after that was just, you know, let it go and start fresh and, you know, make sure you're making better pitches. Uh, biggest thing is, you know, limit mistakes you make. And, you know, I think I, throughout the rest of the innings, I kind of did that. Did you have really good movement or, or why was the, the strikeout so so big for you today, do you think? You know, I think just having all three pitches in the zone and being able to locate um, with the fastball and also the changeup as well, um, that was that was huge for me. And, you know, I think some hitters might have been guessing at the play. It was just, just keeping off balance. That's my biggest thing. And, you know, I think today we did that. Dalton, did you feel really good coming in right away to fit, um, with, with your stuff? Uh, yeah, I felt really good coming into that game. Um, it's a tough spot to come in with uh, two balls and a guy with the bases loaded, but um, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, I felt good today in the pen. All my stuff was down in the zone. I had two pitches I could throw for strikes, and um, yeah. Dalton, the, the the pressure of the situation, the, the two guys before you had really struggled. Were you able to keep your emotions in check, or how was how was that working for you? Yeah, uh, just coming to that game, as soon as I got on that mound, I was just locked in. Um, couldn't really hear anything. I was just so zoned in. I didn't hear any of the crowd or anything like that. Um, I just wanted to come in there and kind of pick up my guys. They had a little bit of a struggle today, and I was just happy I was able to come in and do that. Mike. Can you talk about just the relentless nature of this offense? Hit, hit, hit. Yeah, it's something that we definitely pride ourselves on. Uh, we go up there every at-bat trying to grind it out. Uh, when we get that pitch to hit, we want to make sure that we hit it. And if we don't, we want to keep battling and battling and battling so that you know that momentum that we always talk about stays on our side because if we're going up there giving good at bats after good at bat after good at bat, uh, that momentum stays with us when we go back out on defense and then Brent, feed, Brent feeds off of it. Uh, and it's kind of our whole the style that we play is just grind it out and keep moving. Derek, what was the what was the feeling after they had scored? They had scored five. You, you guys had the big lead. All of a sudden, it, it, it's all gone. What was the, the feeling as you guys were finally coming off the field there in that inning? Yeah, and that's something that's definitely really hard uh, to do. You obviously give up a five spot, um, but there was not one person that dug out that had any doubt in our mind that we were going to come back. Um, it, it's kind of something that we've we've been stuck with all season. Uh, we like to make things interesting, so we're kind of used to it. Um, but it's something that, our like I said, our team kind of feeds off of, um, and there's never a doubt at any time, whether it's 10 nothing, whether it's 10 nothing us, 10 nothing them. Uh, we kind of have that same mentality that keep that's keep grinding. Derek, what stands out to you about how about how Brent pitched? Yeah, it's been the same story of pretty much the last ten weeks of the season. Uh, Brent's gone out, gone out there and absolutely dominated every team that we've seen. Um, it's a great feeling to have as a well as a defender and just as an overall team atmosphere. Um, when you got a guy like that on the mound, uh, you know your team's in a good spot. Anything else for the kids? You want to take? You guys can go. Open it back up so Coach Holm. Okay, go ahead for Coach. Steve, the offense today was, was just as as has been brought up was was just relentless. He had to be uh, really enjoy watching your guys just constantly put the ball in play and and get hits in the process. Yeah, I think that's probably the story of the game. I mean, when we got the two strikes, we were able to put those balls in play, and when they got the two strikes, they weren't. 
And if you look back, Brent was able to grab momentum by striking their guys out, like Derek was alluding to. So, you know, I, there, there's certainly been games where we've punched out like that ourselves. And it is defeating. And by putting those balls in play and swinging early, um, I think that was basically the, the difference in the game. What was it about Dalton that made you think he was he was the right man for that situation? You weren't on the same page? Um, he has not thrown a lot, but um, at the end of the conference tournament, he threw really, really well. And, and we threw him in for about two and two thirds, I think it was. And at that point, you know, he, he's, a, he's a Canadian guy that grew up, you know, hockey guy. His, his father played in the NHL. And, you know, I was talking to Wally and we're just like, he ain't gonna be scared. So, you know, we ran him in there and, and we knew he had a pitch that the guys weren't gonna hit. And that was obviously the changes that he was throwing. And as long as he was gonna be able to get that over the plate, he didn't even have to really locate it. We knew we had a chance, and it, it was just basically his mentality that we went with. Just talk about <laughs> your guys, you know, not not backing down, right, scoring right away after he uh, tied it up. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, um, that's what Derek alluded to. We have uh, found ourselves in those predicaments more often this year than uh, mo most teams in our situation. But um, all the way back to the first game of the year, I mean, we we went extra innings against Belmont on a Friday. Uh, February 15th, whatever that was, we put up 16 in the 11th inning. So nothing that we've done this year makes sense. So if we're going to win a game on a Friday in a regional, that was the way we would do it, I promise. In the back there? Okay. Go ahead, Wendy. Uh, Steve, still a game to play tonight. You guys know you're going to be playing tomorrow, but what do you, if you do know anything about U of L or UIC, and where are you watching tonight? Well, we've played UIC twice, so, um, but it's it's in a midweek, so it's totally different. You don't know what kind of arms they really have <clears throat> until you see them yourself. Um, Louisville's Louisville. Obviously, you know, there's there's no there's no good matchup unless you're a host, and that, that's the way the regionals work, and that's the reason that they get rewarded for hosting is because you're one of the best 16 teams in the country. So with that, I mean, we, we know what we're getting. I mean, you're getting one of the best college baseball teams assembled this season, so. You know, you're going to have to come out, you're going to have to get some breaks, and you're going to have to play really, really well. Okay, thank you.